Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing some training and I have a little video for you showing you briefly how I train, what I use to train, what tricks I like to train, and so on. So I have a bunch of different options that I use for treats. I don't use like actual store-bought treats because the ferrets don't like it. They don't like freeze-dried treats. They don't like dehydrated treats. If yours do, feel free to use those, but my ferrets only like their normal raw meat. Some good options are chicken breast, turkey breast, pork loin, chicken heart, really anything that they really like to eat. I wouldn't use liver for treats though because you only wanna, you wanna stick to the amount that they need in the diet. You don't wanna do too much liver. So I'm just using my poultry shears really lazily <laughs> here to cut up some turkey breast and chicken breast and we're going to be teaching Patsu how to well we're gonna do some of his tricks that he knows and then also try to teach him how to bunny hop I'm really excited about that one but yeah so I just cut the treats up really really small the smaller the better if they're too big it's too much of a task for them to eat and they can't you know quickly go through the tricks so I just put it all in a bowl and I start training so here Patsu is doing his spin trick and um, for ferrets they're not like dogs you know you can't really tell them to do something and they'll do it I mean you can train them over a long period of time to do that but they're very you know they like to follow you and follow the treat in your hand and as you can see here Patsu was not super interested in the first session that we did so I started with Appa. Appa has never done really any tricks before he is 100% deaf so he cannot even learn vocal cues or commands or anything like that so it's very much so you know following my hand with the yummy tree and this is him spinning and he doesn't really know uh, that he's supposed to be doing it while standing up and I do hold the treat a little longer for him because he loves to stash Appa will just stash whatever and anything no matter the size of treat or meat that you give him so the longer I hold it for him, usually less of a chance that he's going to go and stash it. So I just, just got some chicken for him, trying to have him follow it. Um, there he did a really good spin, so I reward him. Try to hold it a little bit longer to see if he'll chew it, but he of course doesn't. He takes it and runs away to go eat it in his little corner. But to note, I don't force my ferrets to do anything. This is a very fun enrichment type activity that I do. I, again, I don't force them. And here's Patsu coming to steal the show, itching himself. And now Patsu all of a sudden decides that he doesn't want to be left out and he wants to do some training too. Uh, but Appa did a really good job for his first few times. He's very receptive and willing to learn. As you can see, he's staring up at me. He's willing to work, willing to be with me in this moment, which is a great thing that I like to see. So here I'm telling him to go on his back legs and stand up. He doesn't have all that great a balance because he is a bigger ferret. Um, so it does take him a couple times to try and stand without wavering. But the more that we do this practice, the more that we do this trick, he will get much better at balancing on his hind legs. So here I'm doing another spin, and he of course decides to get his butt on the ground again, <laughs> rather than doing it while standing. He's so cute, but he's also very lazy. So there he goes off with a treat again. So my process for training is for, I mean, Patsu, who can actually hear me, I do the trick a couple times, I praise him, and then I'll start to put a word to it. So I don't start off by saying, you know, spin or roll over or anything like that. It always starts with no words, just the trick, and then I work up to using a vocal command. So Patsu is back and now he's ready to train. He's really good at standing on his hind legs, as you can see. He's also very good at spinning in a tight circle, and he also knows how to roll over. This was the first time he's done it in a few months, so it took him a bit to understand and realize what I was asking him to do. These three tricks, the standing up and then spinning and rolling over, are really, really good for muscle conditioning. It's a great exercise for them and it's good for their balance as well. So here I'm treating him after the movements. So instead of treating him after each one, I'm doing it at the end of the sequence of tricks. Thank you. 
So here I am trying to get his attention. He keeps thinking that I drop it. And I really want to start teaching him how to, when he stands up on his hind legs, for him to move at least one of his feet forward. So and then we can work up to a bunny hop trick. Um, so the, the walking forward can be a really difficult to train in ferrets. So do it very slowly. They might need your support um, physically, but here he does he actually stepped forward but I didn't see him do it so I would have treated that ideally but I didn't actually see him do it when I was standing over him <laughs> so that is my bad for not catching him doing the behavior quick enough and treating him for it Here he is trying again and he's actually he used my hand as balance there but he did step forward so he does get the treat for that he's such a good boy he's so cute <laughs> and there he stepped forward again very quickly so he gets the treat And he did technically step forward right before he fell over, but that one was much better to reward where he actually stepped forward. So he's using my hand as balance and I'm okay with that at first. I don't have a problem with that once they build up their muscles a little bit better in their hind. So here he's getting a little bit lazy. And I hold him for a little support and he still doesn't want to move his leg forward, which is perfectly fine. I'm not going to force him to do anything that he doesn't want to do. And here, when he backs up like that, it actually means he is totally done with the session and doesn't want to continue anymore. Here I am with a big reward, a nice big chicken strip, and he still showed me that he does not want to do it anymore and that is perfectly fine. So here Patsu noticed the camera, super, super cute, but I'm going to actually do a little bit of reinforcement with his favorite toy. This is a very high reward for him, his mouse toy, and it squeaks too. He loves this thing. It's his baby. His friends online got it for us, and it's his most favorite toy. So you can absolutely reward with toys, praise, whatever your ferret likes. If they don't like treats, that's perfectly fine too. So here with the toy, you can see he is much, much, much more motivated for it. And he, there he did the most perfect bunny hop ever. And um, that's what it's supposed to look like at the end. So I let him take the toy and stash it. Here we have another day, another session. And <laughs> Pots is all ready to go with his stand. He's so cute. And there he stepped forward a little bit, so I'm gonna give him the treat. And I eventually end up just treating him on the floor because, you know, there's no point in letting, making him stand for longer than he needs to. Here we are trying it again, trying to get him to move one of those feet forward. Doesn't matter which one, doesn't matter how far, there he did it again. So I treat him on the ground. And this is a very, very fun practice for your ferrets to do, especially during quarantine when we're all home. A really good enrichment um, idea is training and it's good for their bodies, it's good for establishing that bond between animal and human. So here he is again, he's grabbing me for balance. Oh, and he stepped forward in the most perfect little step ever, so he gets a nice treat for that. Good boy. We're doing a spin because I learned he is much better. See, that one was a very, very good one. He's much better at doing the step forward when he gets a little revved up before. So I have him spin and then he does it. And there's a much more success rate when he does it this way for some reason. There he did it again. Very, very good. So he's already quickly learning. So I'm giving him some praise in the form of pets along with his treat because he does like pets. So he is very, very engaged in this training session, which is probably the best part of the whole thing is to see them interact with me and see them happy and excited. So here he was getting a little lazy, but then realized he had to step forward and got the treat. He's 
getting up. Oh, he's getting a little lazy. <laughs> try on this side do a spin first and then oh he did it <laughs> a very very tiny step but it still counts here we're doing another spin and we're repeating it oh and he did a very good step there as well Here I have a big reward, a nice long piece of chimkin, and he is very, very <laughs> interested in it, as you can see. Oh, and he actually grabbed a piece on accident there. I didn't mean for that to happen, but he grabbed a piece, and it's whatever. <laughs> Extra treat for the good boy. And, oh, he's getting a little lazy. So we're going to spin him around, get him nice and revved up, and then he still doesn't do it. Oh, he tried to grab it with his mouth, <laughs> so he didn't have to do it again. So this time I try to put him back to see if he'll do it, but he actually gets bored again. As you can see, he's backing up, but I give him the tree anyways because he's a good boy. He takes it and he runs away. <laughs> so here we've got the very, very high value toy. As you can see, he acts much differently with the toy than with just the treats. So here we're practicing the actual bunny hop, getting his balance more solidified and his muscles conditioned. As you can see, he loves this toy so much. So I let him play with it for a little bit and then I have him let go and we do it again to see if he does the bunny hop. That one was very good and so was that one, but I'm challenging him a little bit. And that is all. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to watch me train today. I know it was a very brief, very quick, simple video, but I promise I will have more educational content coming out very, very soon. As always, please do follow my blog. It just got a total revamping done and it looks a lot better now. And I just recently posted a raw feeding frequently asked question post and Q&A and myth busting. So feel free to go check that out if you want to learn more about raw. Check out my Instagram page and follow me there as well as subscribe to the channel it really helps out and yeah thank you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>